Okay, so one of the things I've been wanting to test are these uh, smaller boost caps. And these are th um, 350 farad uh, 2.5 volt uh, boost caps. You can get these at DigiKey right now for $11 a uh, capacitor. Um, I've seen them on eBay for $8 a capacitor. So these are easy to come by right now. But I'm going to wire this in here and see if this little uh, boost pack can start the, uh, the car up because it's so small. And anyway, we will wire it up and do some testing and see if that works. All right, so I connected up the uh, small uh, boost pack to test, and I've just connected it directly to the uh, battery uh, terminals here. And I've got the larger boost cap that I know works really well with cars underneath it. But I'm going to test this little guy. These uh, cells are the same size as a D-cell battery. So if this starts up my car, uh, that's going to be really impressive. So. Um, let me get the keys here, and we will just see if we can uh, even get the car to turn over with that little pack. Alright, so it's reading at 14.2 volts. Let's try this. <laughs> Listen to that, folks. No way! Charged right back up to 14 volts, and it, it started this car with no problem. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So, that is something. I'm surprised how easily that started. Let me try that again. And that is, that is impressive to me. You know, I can't say that I could uh, recommend using this at this point, but I'm going to start testing that. You know, I'm so impressed with this little boost pack's ability to start the car without any hesitation that I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, larger one out and do some testing on this one. And uh, I am just really intrigued. You know, this, this little guy just starts up my car without any hesitation at all. And uh, what I may find it will be necessary this would be to put a uh, lithium iron uh, phosphate battery in the back of this. That might really, uh, really make a hybrid boost pack. But uh, anyway, let me uh, start this car up one more time. I'm going to hold the camera outside the car so you can hear so you can hear the sound of the engine when this thing starts up. There's just no hesitation. <laughs> Interesting. So I've just got to show the progression that's going on here, folks. So I had, as you saw in the first video, if you don't know what this boost pack's about, go back and watch my first video on the, uh, the boost pack. Search for that. Watch that. You'll get an idea how this came about. But here's the uh, progression. Um, here's my traditional car battery. And we're looking at uh, 30 pounds. So I was all stoked when I went to this and brought that down to, I don't know, seven, eight pounds. And I've been using this over the winter. Um, I went ahead and rebuilt it. Been using this, great success. And look at this, folks. I've gone down to this. <laughs> it doesn't even bump the scale. This little thing actually starts my car right up. No hesitation. Turns it right over. So I don't know what that's even coming in at. I don't know, half a pound or something. But this, I'm excited about this. Talk about some weight savings. Talk about a progression uh, in my experimentation in this technology. You know, you could mount this up with a solar panel. Uh, so one other thing to point out here is on, on this one, these are 2,600 farad caps. They're connected in series. So we have 2,000... 2,600 farad on this pack. This pack we have 350 farad. So this is a much smaller pack. It's not like you're going to be leaving the radio on for half an hour or leaving this pack, you know, not running your car for two or three days most likely with this little guy. Because if you turn your car for two or three days, these capacitors may leak down in voltage and not be able to start the car. But hey, I'm going to start testing that. The only way to find this stuff out really in my experience, is just to hook it up and uh, test it. So that's what we're going to be doing here, folks. We're going to hook this up right now. Okay, so in this big uh, space here, where I used to have the big traditional battery and then the uh, first boost pack that I built, I've now got the mini boost pack. And I'm going to be testing this out here, and I'll get back with you on, on all the results. But it sure looks promising. I've wired it up in here, and I'm going to let my I'm going to hand the camera over to my son. I'm going to start the car, and you guys can uh, hear right in the engine bay the. Uh, the sound of the car starting, you'll see that there's just no hesitation. This little uh, boost pack just starts this car right up, so. That's 
it, folks. This, this little pack is going to be in here, and I'm going to be testing it on my uh, daily commuter car. And we'll see how this can uh, how this will work. So far, I've just gone from amazement that it could even start my car to now amazement that it may be a functional battery replacement. And uh, you know, worst case scenario, I make it a hybrid. I, I put a small battery back here in the back, and uh, I'll test this for a while, just as is. But if need be, I'll go to that. So, anyway, guys, that's that's where we're at in the boost pack. Can't wait to pull into a uh, car service place and have the uh, mechanics take a look at this. That will be real interesting. All right, so there we go. That little guy's ready for testing. Let me do a, a quick startup here one more time. So this is Boost Pack 2.0. It's made out of cutting board material and so wood. Um, had I known that first one worked so well, I would have made it out of uh, something more permanent. But I considered that first version just a test unit to test. And after it worked so well, I built up uh, this one for a more permanent solution. So one thing I added is a little uh, cigarette lighter volt meter. And uh, that's really helpful because I can uh, check the voltage here. At 13.4. So after letting it sit over the weekend, we'll come back, we'll take a check and see what the voltage is at. That ought to be a pretty good test. So, um, day one of testing uh, the car sitting, not running. Uh, last night it was at 13.6, and we're going to test the uh, voltage now and uh, just see what we're at. So, uh, Let's just take a look here. So yeah, it sat all night, and we're at 13. Okay, so Sunday morning. So I parked the car uh, Friday evening. It's now Sunday morning. Time to do a uh, quick battery voltage test. So let's just see what we're at here. So we are at 11.7 volts. So still plenty of voltage to start this car right up. I'm going to leave it here for another day. And Monday morning when I get ready to start my commute, I will uh, test the voltage again. Okay, so it's Monday morning. And uh, we'll do a final test here. So the car set over Friday. Or Friday night, uh, Saturday night, Sunday night. Let's just see what the voltage is here. So the voltage is 10.4 uh, 10 volts. After a sitting other weekend, I'm going to try to start. Okay, car starts right up. And uh, no issue whatsoever. So. If you let the car sit for a weekend, at least in my case, um, no problem. Okay, so here's the results uh, from all that chicken squawking and crowing that you guys hear. These are uh, fresh in, and uh, inside here we've got a bunch that are cleaned up and uh, ready. So just thought I would uh, show folks who either complain or wonder about all the uh, chicken sounds. Uh, what's up with that? We've got 24 uh, chickens, and they're they're free. They just uh, go walking around my property all day long, uh, getting little bugs and scratching in the soil and squawking and balking and roosters crowing and all the videos that I make. But anyway, that's that's what they're up to, folks. All right, so at 6.30, what I've done is I've turned the radio on, because a lot of people have asked, oh, if you leave your radio on, how quickly is this capacitor uh, boost pack that you've made, how quickly is that going to discharge? So a lot of people wondering, you know, if this is going to discharge right away if you're running the radio. So I'll turn it up to a normal uh, volume, and I'll leave this running, and I'll come back uh, later and check it. So 6.30 now, we'll see what we can get out of this. Cannot go up.
Okay, so it's been uh, just over half an hour. We're down to 10 volts. Uh, so yeah, run the radio for half an hour, get down to 10 volts. Let's try starting it. So yeah, it starts right up. So yeah, you could run the radio for about half an hour. 